Amazon and Salesforce, some of the latest companies to cut jobs after rapid hiring over the last several years. But for every company announcing layoffs, managers have to keep the remaining employees motivated and productive. Sharon Epperson looks at it, joins us right now with a look at how to lead after downsizing. Sharon, good morning. Good morning, Becky. You know, the recent layoffs at high-profile firms follow a dramatic surge in job cup announcements at the end of last year. They were 172 percent in the fourth quarter compared to the final quarter of 2021. That's according to the latest report from Challenger, Gray and Christmas. The aftermath of a layoff can be significant not only for those who lose their jobs, but also those who stay. A new biz report survey finds 71 percent of layoff survivors say their motivation at work has declined since the layoff. 65 percent say they've been overworked since the job cuts, and 33 percent of those who survived a layoff believe that things will worsen for their company in the future. To counter those negative sentiments, experts say leaders need to communicate the organization's near-term goals and plans very clearly with frontline managers. They have to uh, gear them up with the right messaging so that they're empowered to go have the conversation the way it's supposed to be. Otherwise, there's inconsistency across the workforce and messaging. And, you know, workers don't take this out in the break room anymore. They take it out on TikTok. Now, that's Sam Cayucci, founder and CEO of the workforce training platform One Huddle. Other HR experts we spoke to told us that leaders and managers should let employees know they understand the impact on the remaining workforce. They've set priorities for what work must get done, and they're going to seek input from employees about ways to get it done. Of course, economic conditions can always change, but experts advise giving employees an all-clear signal when the company is done with a round of layoffs, because otherwise, Becky, a lot of people are just working, waiting for the next shoe to drop.